Hey guys, we are going to meal prep for the week. I am going to make steak and eggs and a kale salad. I already made my protein pancakes for the week. If you look at my past videos, it is super easy. I get the protein pancake mix from Trader Joe's. It's one cup of the pancake mix and one cup of water. So let's get started. All right, so to start, I am gonna marinate my steak. I'm gonna put my sirloin steak tips in a bowl. It says one clove of garlic or minced garlic. So I put about a tablespoon of minced garlic and I add in some black pepper. Then half a tablespoon of avocado oil and about one fourth of coconut amino one fourth of a tablespoon. Then I just mix this all together. Now I'm gonna put this in the fridge while I make my salad. Right now moving on to the kale salad. I am obsessed with it. And when you like something, keep making it. I think it's so good. It's so refreshing. So this bag says that it's triple washed, but I'm gonna wash it anyway. And that bag of kale lasts me the whole week, about five days, so it's great from Trader Joe's. Now I'm gonna dump this kale into a bowl. The dogs are like running to me, and of course they don't like the kale off the floor, but they'll eat anything else. Now I have my two cans of chickpeas. I'm gonna drain the water and put them in a Tupperware. Then I am gonna do a little bit of paprika. It says half of a teaspoon, but it's fine. You're, you could kind of put whatever you want. That was a lot of salt. My last video, I was like measuring the seasonings for half of a teaspoon. It's half of a teaspoon. And that's just like a little ridiculous. You don't need to do that. And my face is really glossy because I have Aquaphor all over it. For those of you who don't know, I'm on Accutane. And I also did a little bit of black pepper. So paprika, black pepper, and garlic salt. I haven't eaten all day, so my mom is going to make me a steak now. You and Adriana, Do you want to say hi? Oh, hey. hey, guys. <laughs> love, love, love. And then you drizzle a little bit of avocado oil, about like a, tea, a tablespoon. And then you mix this all together. It should look a little something like this. Now I'm gonna lay my chickpeas in the air fryer. I'm gonna lay them flat. I'm gonna cook these chickpeas for about 20 minutes and they're gonna like substitute as your croutons in the salad. All right, I'm gonna put this in the air fryer for 20 minutes. Okay, now I am going to pour some avocado oil onto my kale. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt and squeeze a lemon before adding any of the rest of my toppings. I found my lemon squeezer this week, I'm so happy. It was right in front of my face the whole time. So now I'm just kind of going to massage this all into the kale. It helps with the bitterness. So I am just going to massage all this together before adding the rest of the toppings to the salad. And I didn't think the kale was bitter at all when having this salad. It was so good. Now I'm going to chop up a cucumber. The steak is done right here. Yummy. I made it for her and our drag, so we're going out to eat because Gabrielle is home from Michigan and Gia's meal prepping. So, and then Adriana has a lot of homework. So, we're going out to eat. We're taking Gabriella and Nicholas is here and little Louie. So, we're going to miss you because yeah, love you. steak. Yeah, I'm meal prepping and going to parties. It's okay. Me and Gabriella are going to watch the Victoria's Secret fashion show when she gets back. That's on tonight. Okay, I'm gonna watch it when I come back too. Yeah, watch it with us. Now I'm gonna add in the cucumbers. Now I'm gonna chop up half of a red onion and I'm gonna use my chopper. So I'm gonna cut this into a half and then chop this up. Now I'm gonna add in the red onion. 
I'm gonna cut up some green onion into the salad. I just find using scissors on green onions to be so much easier. Then I'm gonna chop up some Kalamata olives and green olives. This looks delicious. It's a good salad, I'll make it for you. Just added in the olives and now we're gonna cut up some Italian parsley. And then I made this couscous from Trader Joe's that I'm gonna add into the salad. I just followed the directions on the box. It's so easy and so good. Then I put the chickpeas into a separate container so they don't get soggy throughout the week. Look how good this salad looks so far. Now I'm gonna add in my couscous little by little. Look at how good this all looks. Now I'm gonna put it into my containers. Okay, so like I said, I put my chickpeas into a little container so they don't get mushy over the week and so they stay crispy. Now I'm gonna mix this all together. Okay, and now I'm gonna put this all into my containers. I also made a delicious homemade dressing to go with the salad. It is in my last meal prepping video. I have some leftovers still from last week, so I am just gonna keep it for this week. All right, and now it is time to make the steak and eggs. I'm gonna heat both of my pans to a medium heat. My steak, I'm just gonna add a little more of avocado oil into the pan. I'm gonna take my marinated steak and just put it in. Steak should probably last me about three days for breakfast. I typically do about 83 grams or three ounces of steak for each serving. With each serving of steak, I pair it with two eggs. Just because these do sit for a couple days at a time before I eat them, I do like to cook my eggs pretty well done so that they stay nice. And when I heat up my meals, they're literally perfect. All right, now I'm gonna flip my eggs. So these eggs are literally perfect. Now I'm just gonna take two eggs and put them into their dishes or my containers. The steak is basically done. It smells so good. I literally want to eat it right now. All right, so now we are going to take the steak and put it on a cutting board. I'm eating this piece. It's so good. I'm gonna measure my steak and have about three ounces of steak in each serving. Then I add some microgreens on top. And this is the steak and eggs for breakfast. I hope you guys enjoyed my meal prep for the week. I used some of the leftover salad and steak and made myself a nice little salad for dinner. I used my dressing that I made and it is in my last video. This looks incredible. Even if you wanted to add some more protein to the kale salad, this looks insane. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my meal prep for the week and I'll see you next week. Love you guys, bye.